if we thought about what are the critical technologies we would like to uh, ensure come to market and maybe ahead of, of China, and then how could we be more effectively deploying that R&D spending? There's some ideas uh, in the paper you're referring to that talk about uh, an improvement in outcomes-based research, for example, that will help us make sure that we're driving to yeah. uh, some, some key metrics in our research yeah. uh, that would uh, allow us to go a little bit faster uh, if we do that, get, get to outcomes. And then uh, part of the paper is talking about how could we make that attractive to venture so that we can amplify the amount we're spending in government. Yeah. And that basically uh, means we need to think about how venture firms do their investing, which is about team, how big is the market and, and how uh, mature is the technology. And if we had that in mind as a government, uh, then we'd allow both private equity and venture capital to amplify this R&D investment that we're yeah. making and ensure it's more widely developed, more widely adopted. That's the part I think we are completely missing. Yeah. Uh, because we've been on top for so long in terms of uh, uh, innovation, technology development relative to other countries, we haven't really thought about how do we make the basic R&D more attractive for the private sector to develop. 